like that. <laughs> this is hashtag replay, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. Yeah, hello everyone. Um, I'm Tino, the CEO and co-founder of Reflex. Um, we are a Germany-based company, so you might hear that from my accent. So sorry for that. Um, so what we build is a software for managing and optimizing IT infrastructure. Uh, I want to start with an interesting fact. Um, the Uptime Institute says that 30% of all servers running in the US are running without any purpose. And to put that into a real number, that's uh, equivalent to the power of uh, four nuclear power plants. Um, the problem is, uh, from our point of view, the increasing complexity in IT infrastructure. So traditional IT started with only having physical servers, then they moved to, to, um, to cloud-enabled or fully cloud uh, with the virtualization technologies like VM or KVM. Um, they're using uh, Amazon services now and uh, moving into the cloud with Microsoft Azure. And now, in the last couple of months or years, there were new technologies like software <coughs> containers uh, and Mesosphere orchestrating these things to split up resources even further and make a problem really, really complex. Uh, and the problem we see with DevOps is that they really lack the um, insight into their IT infrastructure. So they're not really uh, knowing uh, how much infrastructure they have and what services are running where. Uh, next problem is the low resource utilization. Not only do they have servers that are running without any purpose, but the CPU utilization of servers is uh, quite low and rather exceeding 10%. So this is uh, uh, also of course, a, a waste of money leading in high infrastructure costs. Um, so, but I, I'm supposed to give a quick demo, so uh, sorry for the PowerPoint slides. This is our tool. Um, so when you log in, we give you a beautiful dashboard showing you um, all your IT resources you basically have. Uh, at a glance, you can see the full CPU, RAM and storage capacities you have, and how much of these resources are already designed to any services. <coughs> you can also see the overcommitment, um, and know if uh, there's any failure in your IT infrastructure. Um, the tool now really shows you the full assets you have. So we don't care about um, if, it's, uh, it's, if it's a physical server, if it's a cloud machine, if it's a Docker container, whatever. We all see these as IT assets, and they are fully accessible, um, and you can search through all the um, assets. Uh, the typical um, daily job of a DevOps looks like he needs to add services, move services, uh, or change services. And there's always questions like, okay, um, how can I find a spot in my infrastructure to deploy a service? For example, like, show me all my machines that have, I don't know, um, four cores available uh, and are running on Windows or something like that. With our tool, um, all these information or assets are fully searchable and accessible um, at a glance. Um, if you click one of the servers, you can directly see what type of machine this is. For example, this is our hypervisor, meaning it's running virtualization. It also it gives you the basic information like the IP address, MAC addresses, the rack position, uh, and what is running on it. You can here directly see, okay, I have a uh, 12 cores. Uh, this is a 12 core machine, but it's uh, an overcommitment of 192%. And I can see the distribution of the resources assigned to the different virtual machines running on this, uh, on this machine. Um, the life cycle, sorry for, not, for it's not being really updated because it's a dead data set, uh, shows you also uh, what has happened to this machine. If you moved it somewhere, if a new machine was deployed, if it was removed, and this is information we never delete. <coughs> All this information can then be mapped to services so that you can also directly see, okay, um, how does the customer service look like? And uh, how is this related to the actual physical or uh, virtual infrastructure underneath it? You can um, directly um, move to the machines and see what is running on them uh, and see all the details of them. The next thing we do in our next release, and uh, I have a short sneak peek for you, which is not really public yet, is we do um, infrastructure optimization. We connect to existing monitoring tools that you already have. We um, collect the performance data of all of, of machines. We have a look at the historical performance data, really look at, okay, what are the peak times, uh, what is um, the most used resource on this machine is a CPU RAM or storage and uh, combine this with the infrastructure data and can give you optimization reports on how to increase the density and shut down machines. Um, these reports can also be provided via our API to third party tools. So for example, if you have Kubernetes hosts, you can ask our API uh, for free spots in your infrastructure. And we'll also generate some, uh, um, some reports for uh, other stakeholders in the company like CIOs or CFOs which can have a look at how uh, efficient is my infrastructure really running and how much does the service cost. And that's basically what we do. Questions?
the software is running independent of OEMs, uh, hardware OEMs, or operating systems, what does it take to deploy this on your physical so we basically provide this currently as an on-premise solution, so we give you a virtual machine with our software, and we provide you with software agents that you can deploy into machines. We provide um, agents for, um, hyper for Windows hypervisors and Linux hypervisors, which can connect to the virtualization layers, and we have agents for the cloud, like Amazon, where you provide the API key and we get all the information. We can also connect to existing tools that you might have, like I don't know, the optimization tools which provide infrastructure information so that, so that we don't need to get it a second time. Also, you don't need to install our agents, you can write your own scripts because we have an open API which is well documented with our code examples. What's your main differentiation compared to like what Cisco provides or any of the other large infrastructure companies? Um, so, there are some tools which do something like we do, but they are only currently focused on physical infrastructure or maybe virtual infrastructure. We connect to the uh, modern IT infrastructure stack, like providing information uh, on Docker hosts or uh, or Mesosphere clusters. So, full uh, IT infrastructure, I think, that came up in the last years, for example, here's a screenshot that we're currently implementing, giving you information on, on a Docker host that we found on your servers. And that's something our competitors still not do. Can the company just run some, you know, cloud in the public cloud and just rent a space and use your software as well to monitor? Um, yeah, this is not actually monitoring software because we do not collect any metrics. We try to, uh, because we don't want to replace any existing solutions, that would be very hard for us to get into the company. But you can use this also if you're only cloud because we know that uh, companies running only at AWS usually um, have a 60% uh, too many virtual machines they're really using because they don't know what kind of what type of machines they really need to need to use and they might use the wrong instances. So your current customer probably a lot of them run their own uh, AWS uh, instances and uh, server is, use your soft, uh, software. I didn't forget that. Question. I said uh, your current customer most of them the uh, AWS uh, user or other. I would say the customer is uh, really using a hybrid, uh, hybrid, uh, hybrid IT. So we, we are targeting customers with having more than 200 physical servers because we know that nobody can usually also do that with Excel sheets or something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, typical customer has like a few hundred servers, a few thousand or hundred uh, virtual machines at AWS, and usually they don't rely only on the one cloud platform, but a multi-cloud. So also have machines running at Google or Microsoft.